Hello, and welcome to our stairwell. Seven years ago when we built this house, we had our stairs made out of OSB because I had every intention of fully carpeting these stairs, but it was so expensive that I just painted them instead. But it has been five years, so they're looking a little bit worse for wear. So my plan here is to try to even out the texture on these stairs, give them a fresh coat of paint, and put a stair runner on them because I am not a fan of the echoiness as well as the slipperiness of these stairs right now. I'm thinking maybe I get some sort of wood filler and just try to plaster over the texture. I'm really hoping that'll work, but I honestly have no idea, so. All right, so after some actually fairly brief research, I realized that wood filler I don't think is the right answer. This is gonna be a very small portion of the stair and it's not going to get traffic because you walk down the middle of the stairs. So I'm just gonna use something I already have, which is this drywall filler. It's supposed to not shrink or crack and honestly, again, no one's gonna be walking on that part of the stairs, so I'm gonna give this a try because also I'm cheap and it's, I don't wanna leave the house, so. I'm gonna vacuum, I'm gonna sand, and then we're gonna try this. Oh, the devil cat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh, Egret. Oh my gosh, it's all in your paw. <laughs> Why are you like this? You can see here where I spackled and sanded, it's so much smoother, it even feels a lot smoother as well. Personally, I don't need this to be perfect, I just don't want it to look like this. So I got three of these stair runners, well, they're just runner reps, not stair runners. And I really like that there's sort of a mixture of color because we have four pets, and so they're gonna get hairy. There's so much freaking hair on these stairs. I want the hair to hide. I'm thinking what I wanna do when I'm at the hardware store, I'm gonna find some paint chips and see if we can pick a color that goes with the rug, goes with our flooring that surrounds the stairs and our wall color, but preferably something that's a little bit darker so that the hair just disappears a little bit more, you know? Well, the cats like it, maybe a little bit too much. So our cats stay in the basement at night I have concerns <laughs> that they are gonna destroy all my hard work, but that's why I bought fairly inexpensive runners for this reason, but I'm hoping they'll at least last a few years. <laughs> we'll see. It's been multiple days. This project is so much bigger than I was expecting it to be, and it's so messy because if you've ever sanded drywall spackling, you know that it's awful. And I started using my mouse sander at first, but then it was literally shooting the dust all over the place. And so I just ended up sanding it all by hand and vacuuming as much as I could as I went. This is a learning process, and so I'm totally fine that it's been taking longer than I expected it to, but now that I'm done this part of it, the plastering part, evening out the wood tones, or evening out the wood texture, I really wish that I had used some sort of spackling that was thinner, like maybe Plaster of Paris or something like that, because the problem with what I was using is so thick, I had to do so much more sanding because it went on fairly thick. Now I have a complete disaster to clean up, all these animals are getting dusty and spreading that dust around, so that's fun for me. <laughs> but um, I just have a whole lot of cleaning to do now before I can start painting because I, I don't wanna get a bunch of dust in the paint. So that's an update. So I primed, I put one coat of primer on the stairs and quickly realized I was gonna have to do another coat of primer because that spackling sucked up the primer so much. Gendry's inspecting my work. And do not, do not, no. Go this way, please. This way. And then I decided, since I'm gonna be doing caulking, I decided I might as well um, caulk now and then do the next coat of primer because it's a good thing to prime the caulking too. It's gonna seal it a little bit better than just the paint. So that's what I'm doing now, and it's super tedious because there's obviously a lot of corners going on, but 
it already, even just the little bit I've done so far looks so much better that I know it's gonna be worth it. And there's some areas that just, where I cut out all the caulking that was cracking and there was gaps, I needed to redo it anyway, so here we go. Come see me tonight In the sack we're flirting And we dance for hours She knew that she had me But I didn't realize I've opened a can of worms and there's a number of things I need to do before we add the carpet. Okay, let's, let me show you. So there's a few things I want to do now after spending so much time in the stairwell. One of them is that these trim pieces we added on each side of the stairwell, for whatever reason, I decided to paint white when we built this house. And I wish they were just the color of the wall so that they would blend in more. We also didn't add one to the end and it's always, to me, looked really unfinished. So we're gonna add a piece of trim at the end, paint it all the same color as the wall, and then we're going to patch and paint from this trim all the way down because in the last seven or so years that we've lived here, um, these walls have gotten pretty beat up from bringing stuff up and down. So I want to give them a refresh, which is all gonna be so much easier if I do it before there's carpet. Okay, so we've got 37 and three quarters plus a hair. 37 and three quarters plus a little hair. <laughs> oh no. You see on that left side? It's not straight at all. Look at that gap. That's weird. That wall must be leaning in. Okay, let's see how... Oh, it's pretty level. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we have the trim up and now I'm gonna have to go back and fill all the holes. I'm gonna sand down these and potentially refill the holes because it looks like I didn't do a very good job last time. And then I'll have to do caulking and all the other paint prep. She knew I was waiting through months in pain. The one day she takes me at 12 a.m. I knew that she had me and I started to see that I've been hooked up by a vampire. She said, I'm sorry, I left you behind. And I know it sounds funny that it was enough. Checked in at a hotel and I Okay, I have painted the walls and they look amazing. I'm so glad I took the time to do that, especially painting the trim the same color as the wall. It makes a world of difference. That shiny white white was not what I was going for. So now we're ready to move on to carpeting the stairs. This is something I've never done before. I used to be an upholsterer for about three years, so I feel like I can handle it. So I'm hoping this goes well. The first thing I need to do is cut the carpet pad. I bought this massive underlayment. It's an eight by 10. I got it from Costco because at the time it was the cheapest place to get it. You can get these on Amazon though as well. I'm doing this because the stairs will be a little bit more comfortable to walk on. And I think it can also help with the longevity of the carpet itself. And the only place I have that's large enough for me to lay this out and cut it is my lawn. So, Let's go outside. Can you see me when I'm here? <laughs> kind of. All right, so my stair runner was 30 inches wide. And I read that having it in your rug pad an inch in on each side is a good idea. Also, where the heck is this camera pointed? The grass makes a good cutting surface, actually. Okay, 
It's almost time to put the carpet on. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. This is all taking so much longer than I thought it would. So I made myself these little spacers so that I can put them beside the rug as I'm putting it on and the rug will sit loosely between these. Before I put the rug pad down, I'm going to put some double-sided carpet tape just right here. Okay, the tape is installed and now I'm ready to add the rug padding. First, I'm going to vacuum these stairs for I swear is the 10th or 15th time during this entire process because seriously, not only just the dust, it's the cat hair. <laughs> I don't know why they lose so much hair on the stairs, but they do. So I'm going to vacuum it one more time before we start covering up these stairs. And that's only like a small indication of how much hair is going to live in this carpet, but out of sight, out of mind. So let's go. I don't wanna push a boom, girl, come I just got to the end of this first rug and I'm actually going to connect them under Fred instead of down here, even though this would reach. I'm just concerned if I don't do it that way, um, the chances of it fraying and then really showing in here are higher than up here. So I have this, if you can see here, can you see down in there? So there's a little piece back in there. Then we have this piece and then we have this piece. The only thing that isn't super ideal is that this piece is rounded on both the top and the bottom. So the only thing that's annoying with that is like gunk could kind of get in there. But honestly, like how dirty is right here gonna get anyway? I don't know. I think I'm happy with this though, honestly. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and glue these together first and then prime it all, paint it all, and install it. So I'll show you some close-ups here. See the nail holes, they're not, it's not perfect, but you know what? We don't need perfect right now. But I'm still really proud of how that turned out. I think it looks good. I got this tapestry from Society6. It took me a really long time to figure out what would look good in here. And I wanted sort of a landscape vibe, but we already have a lot of landscape art. Cody was really excited about something like castle-y. So I think I found the perfect combination of those things. And I'm gonna put up the ladder and we're gonna have a look at this. Okay, I can't see it, but you guys can. Do we love it? Is it awesome? I really hope so because it's ours now. <laughs> so obviously this thing is actually quite big, so I'm gonna have to cut it down. But we're gonna aim for this section with the beautiful house in it. So, okay. I need to do some sewing, I guess, and figure out how we're hanging this. I'm really nervous that when I hang this up, there's gonna be wrinkles in it and I don't know how I'm gonna get those out, but I'm gonna iron it again. We're gonna staple this onto the boards and then, I don't know, somehow figure out how this is gonna happen. Thank you so much for coming along. 
on this very long, unexpectedly long journey with me. And I can't wait to show you the finished stairwell because I am quite pleased with myself and it just feels so good to have this fully complete. So without further ado, let's look at the finished stairwell. 